Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Friday, the 8th day of March. Today is International Women's Day, so happy Women's Day, Heidi. National Why, Be Nasty you. Day today as well, so <laughs> happy Be Nasty Day, Heidi. National Proof Writing Day. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Proof Reading. <laughs> ah, <laughs> see what I did there? I National see. Peanut Cluster Day today. National Retro Video Game Day. I'm a big fan of retro video games. Um, I wanted to buy a retro video game to put in our sunroom, and Heidi told me, no, I need to grow up. So I didn't get to do that. <laughs> United Nations Day for Women's Rights and International Peace as well. All of that happening on this Friday. And I've got a guest joining me. This could have been a Movie Star Monday guest. Do Gray Scott. He's been in the movies Mission Impossible 2, Taken 3, Hitman, Deep Impact, a bunch of great movies. And he's got a new program that he started up uh, like a year ago called Vigil. And season two of Vigil just recently came out on Peacock. And we're going to chat with him all about that coming up. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows, you might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. The old trope that the wedding cake is the most fattening food out there. <laughs> well, according to a new study, men are more likely than women to gain weight after marriage. I can attest to that. <laughs> oh, no. We both did our fair share of oh, weight I did, gain. I did more than my fair share. Research published in the Journal of Economics and Human Biology indicates that marriage has a positive effect on body mass index on males significantly within the first five years of getting married. There was no clear correlation, by the way, for females. Researchers at the Chinese Academy of Social Sciences found that marriage is associated with a 5.2% increase in the prevalence of becoming overweight for men and a 2.5% rise in obesity. The scientists noted that these results came in as a result of men eating more and exercising less as the marriage continued. So for us, it's because my beautiful wife over here is an amazing cook. Before I was married I am to you, a good cook. I was eating stuff like, you know, uh, cold hot dogs out of the fridge <laughs> with a piece of cheese wrapped around it. I'm like, yeah, that's, it's, that's good. I'm good. And then she's making me like souffles and all kinds of great stuff. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made a souffle. I was trying to think of something that sounded fancy. <laughs> Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with InsuranceChicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from Insurance Chicken? Chicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Did you know? Brought to you by Genesis Gold, IRA.com. Heidi, did you know that it would seem TikTok is beginning to suffer from Facebook itis? Uh, because the olds, us old folks, are joining that. Oh. <laughs> uh, at least the app is not as Gen Z focused as it once was. Uh, Ryan Broderick, a journalist, reports that nearly 40% of TikTok users are in their 30s and 40s. In other words, millennials and Gen Zers, for comparison, by the way, That age group accounted for just 20% of Instagram users' base a decade ago. Another interesting thing that might spook the teens in your life is deciding that TikTok is no longer cool. It says 35 to 49-year-olds are more likely to upload videos than 18 to 34-year-olds. So I fall in that category. And I just joined TikTok. (laughs) I have no interest in TikTok at all. I'm still confused. I'm not sure what I'm doing on there. If you're on TikTok, if you'd like to follow me, it's at Big John Small, B-I-G-J-O-H-N-S-M-A-L-L. And you'll get there and you go, why is this moron on TikTok? (laughs) I don't know. I don't know the answer either. We don't know everything, but now we know this. 
Now, big screen, a little screen, brought to you by InsuranceChicken.com. The Young and the Restless will continue its reign as CBS' longest-running series. The Daytime Soap has been renewed for four more seasons, taking it through season number 55. They premiered, by the way, March 26, 1973. They celebrated their 50th anniversary last year. This season, they have an average of 3.5 million viewers, marking its 36th year as being the most watched daytime drama series. Did you watch that one? I did not. I watched Days of Our Lives. Oh, yeah. And then you missed it for 10 years, and then we started watching it, and you're like, oh. And I was like, I can't believe that person's still on, and this this storyline is still going. Um, Amy Poehler has been selected to receive a nice award coming up on April 11th, so that's kind of a cool thing. And Bravo has unveiled the first look at Vanderpump Rules spinoff, The Valley. It premieres the 19th of March. More details on all of these stories in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. You need to look at me when I say this, Heidi, because I need your attention and I need to find out what you think of this. A study found that guppies seek ugly friends to make themselves look more attractive. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Is that why you hang out with me so much? Gosh. I was once uh, confused. People thought I was Shrek. I'm like, what are you talking about? No, I'm not Shrek. No, I'm not quite there. But uh, I think that... I've seen people who do that. I have seen people who do that. They're very shallow, horrible people. And and the thing is, for me, here's who I hang out with. People who make me laugh, people who make me smile, people who, when I have conversations with them, they like to like have conversations back instead of just argue. Because I've spent time with people who it's like you bring something up and they want to argue about everything. And I'm like, this is exhausting. It's exhausting. Like, That's I don't, exactly right. I don't want to spend exhausting. time with you because like, every time I do, you just want to argue and complain. I'm like, let's talk about the things we agree on and have fun together instead well, whether, of this misery And there are stuff. some people, whether they disagree with you or not, they're yeah. going to take the opposing... That could be. Maybe yeah. that's what it is. And that's right. exhausting. So anyway, we'll move on to this. Samsung took the wraps off the Smart Ring this week. They debuted the Galaxy Ring after teasing it earlier this year. The device has multiple sensors that can track your health. There are different health markers that it tracks, such as the wearer's heart rate and sleep monitoring, which also gives users a score of their readiness for the day. So what happens if you wake up and you're like, I'm not ready for the day, according to my (laughs) ring. Now what do I do? The company is considering adding a new feature that would allow a Galaxy Ring to do contactless payments like they do with smartphones, where you'd be able to use your ring to like tap a screen and pay stuff. Do we really need that? No. Are we there? Are you too lazy I'm not to pull there. your phone out of your pocket now? <laughs> I'm not there. So I do not have a smart ring. Uh, I do not have a smart watch. I do have a smartphone, but my phone sometimes even says, duh, it's not that smart. All right. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. Our guest today, Du Gray Scott, is an action star from Mission Impossible 2, Taken 3, Hitman, Deep Impact, and much, much more. And he's got a program on Peacock. It's called Vigil. Season 2 just premiered last month. And Du Gray, for people who haven't had a chance to see this, how would you describe Vigil on Peacock? Well, it's set, uh, the first um, scene that we see is set on a, an Air Force base in Scotland, and it's... Uh, I mean, the characters you see that I play is Air Vice Marshal Granger, and he's organized this weapons test display with these remotely piloted um, aircraft uh, sort of systems, which are like drones, weaponized drones. And he's flown in all these, the British government has flown in all these dignitaries from Wujian, which is a fictional country in the Middle East. And they sell weapons to these countries, and it's a, it's a big deal for, for the United Kingdom. It's worth billions of pounds a year. 
and they're, they're basically having a show and tell. So everything's going very well, and then everything goes really badly, and there's a terrible explosion, and uh, people are killed, and it's a bit of a disaster, a PR disaster for them. And uh, of course, the police are then brought in. B.I. Silver, played by Saran Jones, uh, investigates what happened, and she tries to get to the bottom of who's responsible for this terrible atrocity. And the story then takes us to Wujian, the principal country in the, in the Middle East, and. You know, she gets involved with these groups there and tries to figure out who's responsible and who had the motivation to to, to commit these terrible acts. And so it keeps you guessing right up until the end. So it's a sort of geopolitical story, it's a military story, and it's like sort of an action uh, genre as well. So it's like something for everyone, but it's, it's, it's very, very good. One of the amazing things to me is when you're watching this program, all of the technology they use, and it makes me wonder, is this technology real technology, or is this just made up for the TV show? I can tell you it's absolutely real. These remotely piloted aircraft systems exist, and they're employed by the Army to, um, you know, to, to, to conduct um, sort of, uh, you know, these um, uh, jobs that they have to do within the Army, and the sort of it's a bit safer than sending soldiers into some situations, but, you know, the technology that the Air Force and the Army, and, and not just in the United Kingdom, but in America as well, you know, that they've, they've used that kind of technology for, for years now, and they take out certain members of this groups in the Middle East. And, um, I mean, the accuracy of these weapons is quite, quite extraordinary. You can actually incinerate someone who's sitting in the front of the car, and mm. that the person sitting next to them can be unharmed. So, it's pretty extraordinary, the, the technology that, that we have these days. But these, these weapons that we use in our show are very, very real, and they're, they're actually used in active um, uh, flyers that we have in the different countries as well. In addition to the technology, there's a ton of action in this as well, and you're not new to the action world. Mission Impossible 2, Taken 3, Hitman, all of these projects, very, very action-packed. When you're picking a project, is that something you kind of look for? Well, these... The ones that you picked up, which I love these projects that you mentioned, you know, a lot of these have got action in them, but there's a lot of stuff that I've done that's not action. You know, it's, um, <clears throat> the Enigmas, the Ripley's game, the, um, the crime, the, the, the drama series that I did. Uh, there, there's, there's lots of different shows that I've done. Desperate Housewives, you know, I'm not only the new action, but I like to be able to play different kind of characters who find themselves in different situations. So I've been very fortunate over the years to get to see many different kinds of, of, of people, and um, I, I've been lucky in that respect. Now, you get to be the bad guy, but there are times you get to be the good guy. Which one is more fun? Is it more fun to be the bad guy? I think I've, what I find interesting is when you're asked to play someone who's perhaps known uh, as the villain, is to find the good in them and to find the, sort of, the, the redeeming qualities within that character. And similarly, with someone who's regarded as being good, you find the flaws within them in order to I think, authenticate the character. So I always look for that. Whenever I play any character, I'm like, well, what, what's the human side to the bad guys? And what's the, the, the flawed side to the good guy? And that way you think you get a much more, uh, a real, uh, believable character. I love that. And that's why you do so good, because you put way more thought into that than I would have. So fantastic answer. <laughs> Again, we've been visiting about Peacock's Vigil. Season 2 just premiered in February. Do we know yet? Is there a Season 3 scheduled? I think they're trying to figure that out as we speak. And whether or not they do another season, I'm not sure. I mean, the show is very, very popular, so I'm sure they will if they can. But I think it'll be a completely different story right now. Well, I will be on the lookout for that. DeGray, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate it. Such a pleasure. Anytime. Again, our guest has been DeGray Scott. His show is called Vigil. Season 2 recently premiered on Peacock. Give yourself a little credit. I've been telling you about BetterCreditCards.com for a few years now. I'd love for you to take a few minutes today to check out the website. Who knows? You might find a better credit card, one that offers a better rate, or a credit card that offers cash back, airline miles, or other points and perks that can help you. Check it out now. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Before airplanes existed, jet lag was called boat lag. Huh. Okay. That's that makes cool. sense. Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? We change our voice when we talk to people we like. Hmm. Okay. Does that... I like you. What, is, <laughs> what does my voice sound like to everybody else? <laughs> hey, everybody. How are you doing? <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The opposite of paranoia 
is pronoia. A person suffering from pronoia feels that people or entities around them are plotting to do them good. <laughs> so it's like everybody around me is going to throw me a party. <laughs> I can tell. I know. I can see it. Why would somebody have to plot to I don't do know. things good? Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Sniffing crayons and Crayola crayons has been found to lower blood pressure. Oh, wow. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? If you start counting from zero, your lips won't touch until you reach one million. I mean, when you're saying the I words. I think we've talked about yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Insurance. It's important to have insurance, but it's more important to have the right insurance. After all, if you're not covered, it's like not even having insurance. Make sure you're covered for whatever claim might come your way with insurancechicken.com. Helping you peck out great insurance deals in your area. You need insurance on your car anyway. Why not get great rates for great insurance from insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. Uh, one in four people say this is their favorite smell. What is it? I would agree. This is a, it's, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's Fresh up there. Fresh cut grass? No, a campfire. That oh, is a great smell. I do love a Yeah. Yeah. Fresh cut grass, also a great smell. Coffee. And the smell right after a rainstorm. Yeah, and gasoline for some yes, reason. Yes, gasoline. Like, I don't understand. These are some weird things we're talking about. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Minterventioncom What could you do with an extra $129 a month? In this economy, every penny counts. So an extra $129 each month would absolutely help. Well, 97% of us have a cell phone, and the average person pays $144 a month. Mint Mobile can help you save a Mint. At just $15 a month, that's an average savings of $129 each month. It's time for a Mintervention. Switch and save today. Get this special offer at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A man is facing up to five years in prison for stealing a horse and trying to hide it in his third floor apartment. <laughs> So the ceiling of the horse was already weird, but that apartment thing, that's why it's here. Police in Poland got a call about a man trying to lead a horse into the upper floor of a residential building. <laughs> Everybody thought it was just a prank, but when they sent the crew to investigate, they were shocked to find a full-grown horse being led upstairs by a young man who appeared to be arguing with disgruntled neighbors. Police later learned that the unnamed resident had stolen the animal and was trying to conceal it, never apparently considering how conspicuous that would look. <laughs> Or how he would manage to keep a full-grown mare in his two-bedroom apartment if he had managed to get it through the front oh, door. Oh, I love so. that so, so much. He had a plan until, of course, he got the horse. Then he's like, now what do I do? Oh, my god! It's a horrible idea. It's also weird news. Brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Things the world is running out of part two. Coffee. Between deforestation and coffee-producing countries, uh, and, and there's like climate change that's affecting how much coffee is growing, they're saying we are running out of coffee. So we need a few more canisters just in case, Heidi. Mm -hmm. Rubber. Yeah, rubber. In recent years, flooding and uh, plant-based diseases stopped the production of rubber plants, like the plants that we get the rubber from. Okay. So that's another thing. Copper. A huge gap in supply is on the horizon, and guess what? In order to tr transition to green energy, we're going to need a lot more copper. I mean, way more copper than we're prepared for, so we're running short on copper. Avocados and bananas. Apparently, they require things that our planet is not really abundant in right now, and there's some infections that are causing some of the avocados and bananas to die off. Hmm. And the last thing on the list, bees. They're an essential part of our ecosystem, uh, pollinating 80% of flowers and plants, but they're dwindling away. That is why we must preserve them. Yikes. So things the world is running out of, part two. Do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. 800-310-5831. 800-310-5831. That's 800-310-5831.
Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today is from Fran Lebowitz, who says, In real life, I assure you, there is no such thing as algebra. I love that. (laughs) I've heard that quote many, many times. I have too. And I will agree with that to a certain point, but then there are times where I'm trying to figure things out, and I'm like, uh, I wish I would have paid attention in math (laughs) class. I don't know how much flooring I need. We had twice as much flooring as we needed. My math was off. Turns out we didn't. We yeah, Well, it. we'll use it somewhere else. But quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way, courtesy of genesisgoldira.com. And here's the headline, Heidi. New York Medical Center eliminates tuition after one billion dollar donation, that's a that's a big donation. That's a huge donation from the Bronx, New York. A groundbreaking announcement Monday. Albert Einstein College of Medicine in the Bronx received a transformative one billion dollar wow. donation from Dr. Ruth Gottsman, a former professor at the esteemed institution. The news left the students in tears of joy and cheers as Dr. Gottsman uh, revealed her remarkable decision to make the medical institution a tuition-free school. I love that. Yeah. The move is expected to alleviate a significant financial burden on students as tuition at the Albert Einstein College of of Medicine had previously stood nearly $59,000 a year per student, which, again, in the grand scheme of things, when you're going to school, that's kind of normal, right? Right. Well, this generous... $1 $1 billion donation will not only eliminate tuition for all incoming students starting in August, but it will also reimburse people in the spring for the people who took this as their final year. Jeez. Dr. Ruth Gottsman is 93, has a deep connection with the institution, having begun her tenure at the school in 1968. Her philanthropic gesture reveals a lifelong commitment to to education and a profound belief that the impact of medical research and training is something that's important. And I think this is really cool. This is somebody who is literally putting their money where their mouth is. There's a lot of people out there talking about, oh, there's a better way and we should do this and we should do that. And here's somebody who has benefited from this system. They went to school. They became, you know, a a doctor. They did very well. Uh, This person also, by the way, was an early investor at Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett's conglomerate. Okay. So did very well in, uh, in the... In that world as well, the, uh, what do you call that? The investment world. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Hey, guys, I'm John. So they did very well for themselves, and this is something that they decided to do to, to come up with a really fun way to give back. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. I've got a link to that story in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com.